Hello everybody out there in YouTube and welcome back to how to build an F-14 Tomcat. So uh, last night I just laid up the horizontal stabs. I came out here after work and uh, did a little bit of work. You can see the fuselage mold has all been trimmed and it's pretty much ready to uh, it's ready to get flipped over. The problem is the thing weighs so dang much I can't pick it up by myself so I gotta find somebody to come over and uh, help me roll it over and then I'll get started getting that thing ready to mold. So I got the horizontal stabs, I just took the the vacuum line off of it so it's slowly kind of coming out of vacuum and uh, if you're wondering what the purple things down there at the end with the battery on top, that's a set of rubber tire molds that I'm laying up for a, an F-18. But um, well, I should say those are the molds, and I've got the tires inside, and they're curing. But uh, that's for the big yellow aircraft F-18. So if anybody's got one, wants rubber tires instead of foam, let me know. So uh, anyway, back to the F-14. <coughs> vacuum bags, or the vacuum lines off. I uh, placed a pretty big order with McMaster Car for some clamping supplies and some other stuff to help to get those things finished up so I can probably get them joined up by the end of the weekend and I also ordered some uh, some more tooling cloth for the fuselage that way I don't have to use this giant roll of stuff that doesn't conform all that well I might still use it for something but you never know so uh, yeah if I sound a little hoarse I'm a little under the weather in the past couple of days been getting worse been some crazy weather around here but no, we'll go and try and get that uh, those stab molds out of the bag and pull the pill ply off and get it ready to to join them. down the edges of the bag that way using the vacuum it pulled in any silicon into the uh, into the bag or into any gaps around the edges where it was possibly leaking so let's put the bag and take our little fitting off so we can reuse it later
stuff is difficult to get out in spots to where I had a little too much resin. <coughs> So you just kind of got to work at it. Get it off. If y'all like the time lapse thing, let me uh, let me know, and I'll keep doing that more often. That way I can kind of condense down these really long videos that I've been doing lately. Another thing you can do to kind of keep this from happening is put down a perforated film between the pill ply and the, the batting. And that'll help a good bit as well to keep this from happening. Because right now what happened is uh, all the resin that was pulled up here in the corner of the root is just kind of <laughs> glued that batting into it. It's just really difficult to get out. But I'll get it eventually. I'll come back to it later on. Trash that. See how the other one turned out. Maybe better, maybe worse, who knows? We shall see. out a bit. Here's the uh, the first skin. I mean this stuff is uh, extremely dense and hard this, this Airx foam. So there should be no strength issues with something expecting any with this fairly light layup. So uh, there we are for that other issue here in the corner where it's just kind of you can see where it just kind of collected there in the corner and completely completely fused itself i'll just go through there with a small screwdriver and lightly work that stuff out of there i might end up having to leave a little bit in there but the area around the pivot shaft and where the mounting parts for that are going to go i got to get those areas cleaned up so, until next time, whenever that may be, y'all have a good week and we'll see you in the shop.